Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Loot Crate exclusive Captain Mal science fiction vinyl figure from the Funko Mystery Minis line. What makes this figure an exclusive is that he's holding a shotgun in his hand, as opposed to the regular figure, which you can see on the back of his packaging here. He's holding a pistol, but this figure is holding a shotgun. So let's dive right on in this exclusive. Design-wise, this figure is very similar to the Funko Horror Mystery Minis line, where they've got like the same shaped head, the same kind of uh, feet, the way they kind of droop down and circle out at the bottom. Uh, but one difference is that the Horror Mystery Minis have sculpted eyes, whereas this one's just like a smooth surface with the eyes painted on. So there is a little more detail in the face. Not much, but there is some more detail in the Horror line. Now, taking a closer look at the... Uh, figure. I think he's got a good sculpted hair. It really does read like Mal. Um, I like the furrowed brow that they've sculpted or painted onto his face. Um, there's a lot of good, you know, basic attitude that's included there. Um, and the way they paint his uh, nails on his fingers, I think that's cool. kind of reminds me of Mike Mignola a bit. Mignola does, like, triangle and square-shaped things in his character's details a lot. Um, but the sculpt of, like, his belt, his shirt, his coat, it's all really cool looking. I like the way the coat flares out there. Um, and his boots look cool. I mean, they don't really look like boots, but for the stylized thing, you, you can tell they are Mal's boots. And I do like the fact that he's got the, the actual string sculpted around his leg there. That's a neat little sculpting detail. I like that. But the paint's solid on the, uh, the feet and the pants. The paint's really good on the belt. The paint's really clean where the, the shirt meets the coat. So they did a great job on that. And the shotgun looks really cool, too. Even just the brown paint they include on the back. It's all very solid paintwork. Even the sliver of brown paint on that grip is really well painted. The paint on this figure is really well done, and the sculpting is solid too. This is my first figure in the Funko Sci-Fi Mystery Minis line, and uh, in my opinion, we're off to a great start, because I think this figure looks rad, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the figures look like and how they turn out. Thanks for watching.